everyone, this is Rehana at Rehana's Cuisines. Today we're going to be making olive fritters. I'm sure you've never heard of this before, but I had tried this recipe about 20 years ago. A very good friend of ours made it and um, I picked it up from there and it uh, is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful recipe. It's crispy on the outside and it's nice and gooey on the inside and we use olive oil for just pan frying. So now for our ingredients, we're going to be using um, white flour, regular white flour here that we have. I've got about a cup of white flour. I've got about a fourth of a cup of rice flour. Rice flour just gives it that nice crispiness that we need. Um, and then I do have white cheddar and mozzarella cheese, finely grated. And I have Spanish olives, which are sliced. Um, and I put just a little bit of the juice in there, not too much because otherwise it's going to become very salty. Fresh pepper and regular water. It's not warm, it's not hot, it's just regular water. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my stove on and I'm going to put the olive oil in there. So uh, while the olive oil is heating up, uh, we're going to quickly go ahead and stir all our ingredients together and it's, it's so you don't want to put too much. It's just about a tablespoon in there because you're just, just going to pan fry it. So I'm going to take my white flour here and to my white flour I'm going to go ahead and add the rice flour. Then I'm going to go ahead and add the one cup of um, the cheddar cheese and the mozzarella cheese and just give it a little stir just so that it coats really well. And to this, I'm going to go ahead and add my fresh pepper. I like a lot of pepper in this. It just, it's that it's a, it's like an olivey, salty, peppery taste. And these are very, 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 very simple to do. So I like to have all the ingredients on hand. So if I have company, which unexpected company, these are fast to, fast to make. I'm going to give this just a little stir here. I'm going to go ahead and add my cup, one cup of Spanish olives in here. And give it a stir again. Our, our oil is coming, uh, coming, becoming warm. I'm going to add water. And you want to start adding water slowly. Don't add a whole bunch in there. Um, just because you're going to have a mess because if you have too much water then you have to go ahead and add more flour and so we're just going to add little by little just eye it we don't need to add any salt in there since the Spanish olives are pretty salty and I had a little bit of the uh, water that uh, that was in the olives I added that in there so I really think that we should be okay with the salt and I think that the batter is pretty thick so I'm still gonna add a little bit, bit more water in there give it a nice stir see the batter is supposed to be just like pancake batter where it's not gonna be runny and basically we will be able to make like pancake sized fritters and I think this consistency is just perfect. All right, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. And I have, I have this spoon here. Um, this just helps, helps me measure, you know, so all my fritters kind of look equal. And I just want to make sure that I've got all the batter from the bottom to mixed, and I do. So we're just gonna take. about a spoonful and drop it in here and I'm going to increase my heat just a little bit here and we're going to go ahead and drop I think we should be able to get at least four in there there we go we started getting some bubbles Now again folks, in this recipe, you can add more olives if you want. You can take out olives if you want. If you don't like green olives, you can make it with black olives. Um, then you would have to add the salt in there. And I think I'm going to wait because it's a bit too small in this. Maybe I should make a baby one for my daughter. There we go. And, and 
There you go. We have a little appetizer one right there. So we just wanted some finger foods and wanted to make little ones. You can go ahead and do that. Now, I'm going to take this out of the way here. We're just going to let this fry up to the point where the bottoms are going to be golden brown and crispy. And then we're going to turn them over. So we're not going to monkey with it. We're just going to leave it and let it fry until the bottoms become nice brown and golden. So friends, do you see, I wanted to show you how it's going to look. When, if you look at the top, you can see that the middle still has the runny batter. But the sides, just like a pancake, looks like it's coming to where it's about done. I want to show you how the bottom looks. Look at the bottom. Beautiful, crispy, golden brown. I'm going to take two forks. I'm going to pinch it together and turn. There we go. All right, I'm going to do that again for all of them. Again, two forks, pinch and turn. Two forks, pinch and turn. And we're just going to wait for the bottoms again just to become just so that it becomes nice and crispy just like the top. I'm just going to move my oil just around just so that all my pancakes get it. Or all my olive fritters get it. Now friends, I don't use any spices in a sense. I don't use any hot peppers or any chutneys or any spicy items in my foods just because um, in our house none of us can eat spicy foods. But if you wanted to, you could cut up like um, habanero peppers or jalapeno peppers. Um, really cut them up, real, really chop them up fine. And you can even add a little bit of the jalapeno juice in there. And I think it would, it would be really, really, really good. Um, unfortunately, I, we don't eat so much chilies in our house. But I, every time I do the cookings, I will give you the ideas of what kind of chili peppers you could add into um, the products that you're going to cook with. So for this one, you could do the habaneros or you could, I think the jalapenos would be a better choice, the ones that come in the jar and they have the juice in there. Just slice them up so the juice will give it a really nice zing and a kick to it. And our olive fritters are almost done. And I can see that the cheese is trying to ooze out from the top here. So they're going to be really nice and crispy on the outside and really gooey on the inside. And I like mine really, really dark colored. So I'm just going to wait just a little bit. And if you think that, you know, like for instance, this one, I feel like it's, it still needs just a little bit, little bit of cooking. I'm going to turn it around. Just cook the other side. doesn't matter. You can... You don't have to just turn it twice, you can turn it a couple times. And we're done. So I'm going to go ahead and plate this. And then I'm going to cut it open so that you can see how the cheese has melted in there. So we're going to place these straight onto our platter, just like that. There we go, and our we have our baby one. Place it right over here. So we have our finished product here. And I'm just gonna cut, I'm gonna save the little one for my baby. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just just cut just a little bit and show you, you know how you know how crispy it is, and you can see the cheese kind of pulling. I'm going to try this. It's going to be really, really hot, so you're going to have to bear with me here. And it's really, really hot, so. Excellent. Crispy on the outside, gooey on the inside. And I love the taste of the olives. Just fantastic. It, the olives is the winner here because it, it, the taste is the olives. You can taste the olives. Hope you guys enjoyed my cooking today. Please join me here at Rahana's Cuisines next time with another great recipe.